This channel contains mature subject matter, so if you're not 19 years or older, don't watch this channel. With that being said, let's get into it. What is 420? Uh, what are people celebrating? Now, one story I heard is that uh, some teenagers used to smoke weed after school at 420. Uh, I don't know about that. What I can tell you is that I live on the 49th parallel. The 49th parallel north is a line that travels around the earth above the equator. So north of the equator, 49th parallel, it wraps all the, all the way around earth. On the 49th parallel, today, on April 20th, the days are 14 hours long. Uh, so today we can put our plants outside 100% safe and we don't have to worry about them going into flower and going through that whole uh, re-vegging stage, which takes a long time, we don't want that. So today, it's safe to put our plants outside. Now BC is renowned for high quality cannabis. I used to live in California, and when I lived in California, everybody looked forward to getting BC Bud. Uh, it's fantastic quality. Now, uh, some of the best bud in BC is grown uh, in the lower mainland, uh, as well as Vancouver Island, and uh, more uh, inland BC, but very close to the United States border. I live very close to the United States border. Now, the Canadian and U.S. border uh, almost follows uh, the 49th parallel exactly. So anyone on that parallel, you can pretty much put your weed out today. And that variance uh, is one to two days. It varies a little bit every year. So that's what 420 is. 420 is the day that we can start growing our cannabis outdoors uh, on the 49th parallel, uh, which uh, in a lot of people's opinion is uh, some of the best weed on earth. Okay, so these are the 50 gallon uh, fabric pots. These are uh, the second year that I'm running these pots. Now, uh, when I added the top dressing on, I had birds and mice going through my pots and digging in, in the pots for the grain every single day. So I'd come out here in the morning and there'd be uh, soil scattered on the deck and little tiny holes dug in it from the mice. I've tried a whole bunch of different things uh, to keep the mice away. I'm in the middle of the forest. If I'm gonna be setting mouse traps, I mean, that's going to be never ending process. I'm not ever going to run out of mice in the woods. And so really uh, to keep them away, that's the only, the only realistic solution. I added it just as extra gnat prevention, to be honest. And from the night that I added this, I haven't had a single mouse or bird in my pots. Not one night. That's neem meal cakes from Foxborough Living Soil. So we all know that neem seed oil is uh, great for pest prevention and pest eradication in the organic garden. It's very good as an above ground uh, spray. So after they take the seeds and they press out the oil, uh, they extract the oil, What the plant matter that's left over, they compress into these neem meal cakes. They have a 612 MBK value. Uh, they're great for uh, deterring pests. Now, I was also having uh, some issues uh, with the top layer of compost that I added. It was dry compared to uh, last year's soil beneath it. So what I did is I watered the top soil in uh, with some yucca. So I, I took yucca, I added that to some water, again from Foxborough Living Soil. So yucca is a natural organic wetting agent and it has all sorts of other benefits as well. But since I did that, uh, I find that the oversaturated soil from last year is now wicking up into this top layer, uh, which is going to help the soil to dry out a little bit. And we can see there's still lots of springtails. Now, as for the springtails, uh, I've talked to a lot of people. Uh, it does seem to be uh, one of those things where some people say they're good, some people say they're bad. One thing that does seem to be uh, collectively agreed upon is that uh, 
their frass is beneficial so as the uh, springtails eat the eat the material in the soil uh, their frass will be beneficial to the plants and to the soil so I'm just crossing my fingers that everything goes well all right so today is the first time I've uh, smoked the super silver haze it is fantastic super gassy super stinky it's not even cured up yet and it's uh, such a good quality I put a little uh, humidor style uh, hygrometer in here lots of nice buds tons of tops lots of big tops so I had somebody uh, ask me a while ago if I could share uh, how I roll a joint so I figured 420 super silver haze there's no better time than right now. All right, so one of the key uh, aspects to a joint that burns good is a good bust. So it's busted up nice and fine and uh, it's even. So we don't have any large chunks, any large chunks that's gonna cause it to run. Uh, when I say run, I mean that it's going to burn unevenly. You're gonna have uh, a flame which travels down the side of your joint. You're not going to have a proper cherry which forms. Okay, now I get the weed in the paper and I get it a uh, nice even pile. I put my thumbs in the paper and I give it a little shake, a little rattle, and that settles all the particles and my thumbs kind of pack the end. So see how uh, I have a nice centered pile. Uh, now I use the zigzag pack and I tap, give it a tap, push the paper back, give it another tap. And then at that point it's kind of pre-packed. Uh, you could even uh, tap the ends in a little bit like that. Now just roll the way you would. So that's how I roll a doobie. Been smoking the super silver haze today. I'm loving it. It's uh it's got the root beer flavor. Uh, the root beer flavor is still here uh, a few weeks into curing. It's got a lot of vanilla. It's got this creamy, smooth vanilla, and uh, it's, it's got a ton of skunk. Man, the skunk is just coming out, and it's also got some lemon to it. It's really, really potent. When you open the jar, it's super gassy. There we go, nice clean, nice white ash. Every neighbor on the block can smell this, I'm sure. So a uh, really exciting update for anyone who lives in the United States. I've been in contact with Gaia Greens and they are projecting to be in the United States by June. So Gaia Greens is coming across the border to the United States. All right, everybody, I'm going to enjoy uh, this doobie, my coffee, and the mountains. Uh, I hope everyone has a fantastic 420. Uh, I hope everybody who's putting their plants outside is having the best of luck. Blessings to everyone, and we'll see you very soon.